video in the middle of the day. I'm actually on my way to work right now. I'm feeling so sick, but I'm not sick enough to where like I can't go to work, but right now I just feel terrible. I have so many body aches. I don't know why, but just like out of the blue, I've been having body aches and pains like body aches and pains like everywhere and it just comes like out of nowhere and the last time I had major body aches I had to take leave of absence from work which I'm not going to do again I have no plan on I have no plans on doing it again because that really messed me up as far as pay so no Hopefully, hopefully today isn't too bad because I just, I just haven't been in the best mood lately and it's not because of anyone or it's just because I just don't feel good and when I don't feel good, I'm moody, I have an attitude. I look like, well, I have a resting bitch face anyway, just naturally, but I look like I want to murder somebody. So, yeah, mostly like my, my collarbone, my clavicle, my abdomen. It's like whenever I inhale, I can feel like a pain in my lungs. So it's like, I have to take short breaths, like, because it hurts. And I don't know why. And my feet aches. My leg hurts so bad when I walk on it. It's crazy. Let me know if you guys experience that from time to time. Maybe you guys have any recommendations for me because I'm not going to no hospital. I'm not going to, no. I just rather just let whatever that needs healed heal on its own because I kind of don't have time for that right now, honestly. I really don't. So I kind of want a coffee right now, but I know I don't have time for coffee. Plus, I had coffee this morning. I had iced coffee this morning that I did not finish because I had fell asleep again. And so that watered down, so I had to like pour it out. But I kind of want iced coffee, but at the same time, like, it's not really, I'm not trying to listen. I love my caffeine. But from the way I feel right now, I don't think caffeine's really gonna help me much. <laughs> um, if anything, caffeine's probably gonna make me more groggy, it's gonna make me more like just not feel good. So I'm just gonna skip out on the coffee. And hopefully this day is a short day and an easy day. And before I know it, I'll be on my way back home. Uh so yeah let me know how you guys are doing it is almost friday it's almost the weekend do you guys have anything planned for me it's just work that's it i want to take brayden to see that new king kong godzilla movie but Until he starts behaving and doing what he's told, I'm not going to take him to go see that. But that's what I wanted to do. Because it opens the theaters uh, tomorrow, right? Yeah, tomorrow. But. Oh my god. I think this is like spring now, right? I don't know. This PA weather is pretty bipolar. But it's very sunny out and it's 54 degrees, a little windy, but it feels really, really comfortable. Um, nice day for a walk in the park or just a, just a nice day just to be out, period. If you're just sitting on your porch or, you know, it's just really nice out. Okay, I am near my job, not quite at my job, but I'm very, very early. But I have this diet iced tea Lipton drink that I bought. I bought a whole 12 pack for myself 
And I bought an original one, an original tough pack for, you know, everyone else. But of course, you know, when they see diet, they think, oh, that's for us too. But it really is for me. It tastes so good. It's been in the fridge overnight. Mm. <laughs> and another thing. Whenever I eat or drink, it's like, you know how you can feel the stuff going down? It feels like it's not going down, but it's going up against my spine. Does that make sense? Like, and it hurts. I don't know what it is. But I'm actually sat at Barnes and Noble because I think I do want a coffee. Oh my god, I know I shouldn't. But I know I've been drinking a lot of coffee. The other day, was it the other day? Or was it yesterday? It was yesterday or the other day. I had three months I had three monsters. Yeah, I know, totally not good. But I feel like I have to rely on caffeine to keep my energy up because I feel like, I mean, I've been relying on caffeine my entire life, basically, so I don't know what to do without caffeine. <laughs> okay, maybe I won't get coffee. Maybe I'll just get something to snack on because I had breakfast this morning, but... I had that around like 10.30 this morning and it's now like 5.14. So let's just get a quick snack, I guess. Okay, so I know I said I was not gonna get coffee, <laughs> but it's been a long time since I had a Java chip wrap. I got a small. It didn't taste really darn good. I am my own worst enemy. I admit that, but this is so, so good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm. And I just got a, a cookie, a chocolate chunk cookie. Whatever. Mm. Now tell me to head over to work because I'll be starting soon. So catch you guys later. All right, so I am back. I was let go early, thank God, because no, because it was like slow, I guess. Um, it was me and another host at the stand, and all the reservations have been. There was like no more reservations, and it was just really steady. So um, one of the other hosts decided she wanted to stay, and the manager asked me if I wanted to go, which I said yes because of my shoulder hurts so bad my legs too but uh, the entire time I'm just like massaging it and then like I'm breathing a lot I'm so sorry well I'm not gonna apologize I'm breathing a lot because I'm short of breath it's making me breathe right now and it's like with every breath that I take it just hurts but my Java chip wrap is still freaking cold. I'm happy about that. It is going on 8 o'clock right now. So, I worked from 5.30 till 7.54. Because I had to go back in because I forgot to clock out. I was so, like, quick. To, I was so quick to get up out of there because uh, I'm just in pain. Uh, so, I got the easy day that I wanted. I got the easy, the easy evening that I wanted. Oh my god. So, 
I'm gonna sit here and drink my Java chip frat and then we're gonna go to the grocery store because I want to pick up a few things um and then I'll catch you guys later hi so basically it has been a few days since I picked up my phone if I'm doing anything um, honestly, I have been so sick for the past few days, um, even hospitalized even. Yeah, that's crazy. And um, so I've just been taking it easy day by day, trying to um, get better. But I am feeling better now. Um, I did, I was put on some medication, so um that has been working for me thus far but yeah it's been it's been crazy because i don't know why i don't know if you guys feel the same way or get or have experienced the same thing but like you just get these mysterious body aches you know you don't know where it came from because you either don't do sports or you know you haven't like tripped over anything you know you haven't fallen you know you've just been like you know nothing really happened to make that sort of an impact um but that's what happens to me a lot like things just happen and i have no idea how it happened and people always ask me well how and when blah blah, blah. and i never really have anything to tell them because i don't know myself so just one morning I was just very very sick and I really didn't want to do anything. I did call into work um, twice because I just not only did I not have the motivation to go to work but I just I was in pain. I was in pain and I don't know I don't know why but then like it just mysteriously disappeared. Like, I feel better. Um, I guess stress. That's the only thing I can think of. Because people say a lot that uh, stress can put a, lot of, put a toll on the body. And you can literally feel physical pain from stress. I mean, I've been stressed out. But to that point to where I felt like I just thought I was going to die. Um, yeah, I don't know if stress makes that big of an impact but um long story short i am feeling much better um so that's good the doctor told me i had to go had to do this test to make sure nothing else was wrong but um i feel better now so i don't think that would be necessary but um yeah i did go to i did pick some stuff from target while i was there just some things that caught my eye, a few outfits for the summer, and I just want to share them with you guys. Um, I also did make Brandon Easter basket. He did not, like, I, I assume he didn't want one because he's like 11. And just this past Halloween, he was telling me about how he's too old for trick-or-treating. So I just assumed he would be too old for Easter basket, but I ended up making him one because he ended up asking me if I made him one. Anyways, that's the reason why I did shopping at Target because I was getting stuff for the Easter basket, but I also saw something for myself that caught my Anyway, so I got this, these shorts from the brand Colsey. The one thing I like about Target is that I love their um, lounge sets. And they're so soft and so comfortable. And I also got this top to kind of match with it. I know they kind of don't match. But yeah, um, I got this little top to match with it. It's just some stuff for spring and summer. And when it comes to me and clothes, I value comfort over anything. I like to be comfortable whether I'm lounging around or I'm just going to go to go somewhere for a quick second. I like to be comfortable so I also got another one in this color it's a very bright vibrant peachy pink and also this top to match it and I think about 
I love this line because it's so affordable. Like this top is only $8. Sorry, I got a call. This top is only $8 and the shorts were like, these shorts are like $15. So affordable. And then I also got this romper, which I thought was super cute. And if I had seen this earlier, I would have bought this for Easter. But hey, you can, want, you can wear pink and purple and Easter colors any time of the year, honestly. Uh, except for fall. I think fall is just browns and blacks and greens. But um, I got this cute little romper. It's like a violet lavender sort of color. And I get all my stuff in the medium because these are, they stretch. And I like this because it's very ribbed and you could pair it with a little jacket over it or um, some, like another shirt that's like cropped but like has a sleeve if you don't want your arms all out. But I just think this is pretty cute because this is something you can just throw on when you just need something quick to um, put on when, you, when you're going out and you don't have to like really think that hard and you know, it just it's just easier, you know, it's just more convenient. And I also got another one in this color, which is brown because brown just, you know, pretty much go pair with anything. Like I said, these are romper, so it's like shorts. And yeah, same thing with that. And I also got these biker shorts. Um, and I got this shirt, this little shirt to wear with the biker shorts. Now I can wear this shirt because it has a sleeve and I can wear it over this because this stuff has, it does not have a sleeve so yeah if you know you if you think your arms will be cold you can just wear that shirt over it I think it's cute though because this looks like it's gonna be really 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 short as crop but it's not because these biker shorts are really really high-waisted I have another one in another color that I bought some years ago but yeah i just love 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 colsey c-o-l-s-i-e and everything in their line is just it's just so so affordable so comfortable so convenient and it doesn't look like you're just throwing it on like it actually looks you can actually dress it up to some jewelry um and depending on what kind of shoes you want to wear it but yeah that's all that i got from target Okay, so I'm on my way to get some Chipotle. It just sounds really good right now. It's actually really nice out. A little breezy. We had a few days of just rain, 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 and like it's like kind of annoying, but it feels good today. It's like only 45 degrees out. to be later on except later on Brayden and I will be going to the movies to see that King Kong Godzilla movie that just came out and I think that'll be fun like it's just a little treat for him because he's been doing so well in school he's been getting A's and B's some C's but he's doing so 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 good in school that like whenever he has good grades, I reward him with a movie or just something that he likes that's reasonable. And it's just motivation for him to continue to uh, study and pay attention in class and get good grades. So I feel like everybody needs some type of motivation to continue to do the great things that they're doing. So. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. It's the first time in a very long time that I've gone to the movies. There really hasn't been any reason for me to go to the movies because there really hasn't been anything in the movies worth seeing. I mean, I was going to go 
see the Eras tour in theaters, but I never got around to it. And I didn't beat myself up about it because I physically went to the concert. So, I mean, if I didn't mean that singing in theaters, it wasn't like a bummer. Like, the true bummer would, would have been me not going to the concert physically myself. And it's raining again. Awesome. I think I jinx myself. I tell myself, can't really talk too much because, you know, you say things and things just start to happen. Um, but, yeah, it is on Disney Plus, but I'm not getting a whole subscription just for that. Hopefully it comes out on DVD and I'll buy it then, but... I mean, I physically went to the concert, so, so to me, that's satisfactory, that's enough. Other than that, there really has been anything else that I've felt, like, worth seeing. And, I mean, I'm not really into Godzilla or King Kong, but um, the past King Kong movies has been quite decent, so... It hasn't been too bad. I just don't like the... I just don't like movies that's so marvel -y, You know? Like Hulk and Spider-Man. Like, oh. It just gets really, really old. Like the storylines get so old. Um, but this is for him. This is what he wants. So us going to movies, movies to see that is for him. And I know I'm going to enjoy it too. Because I, I saw the trailer and it looks really, really good. Taco Bell also came out with some new cantina, cantina menu items. Now, I try not to go to Taco Bell a lot. Um, I only go there whenever I crave something from there. Like the crunch wrap is forever my favorite. Um, but if you guys want to see a video of me trying their new cantina, cantina menu items, let me know in the comments below and I will definitely for sure um, make that video for you guys. Chipotle is so packed because it's around lunchtime. So I'm going to be honest with you guys, at this very moment, I'm feeling a lot of anxiety because I usually go when there's not a lot of people in line, um, but there are like hardly any parking spaces. Um, hopefully I'll be fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna have my phone to just distract myself. Um, and this is the reason why I started a series of Life of an Introvert which I have yet to make um, episode two, but I don't want to say too much in this one because everything I want to say, I want to say in that video, but um, it's just crowds and a lot of people just really, really trigger me. But I did not come out here for nothing, so I will get my Chipotle bowl. It will be good. Fingers crossed that they have everything that I like in my bowl. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Because there's nothing more disappointing than wanting a perfect bowl, but they're out of like the main ingredients that makes you bowl. You know what I mean? Like, uh, <laughs> like do you not have any more in the back? Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get my food and then I'll catch you guys later. Alright, so we're about to leave for the movies, and you guys know I gotta pack us our own snacks because the movie theater snacks be so expensive. So here we have two Ziploc bags of popcorn, and then I got myself this little Goo Goo Cluster pecan thing. Um, I got him... Nerds rope. Yep. Nerds rope. He loves that. I like it too. Um, he may want a slushie from the concession stand, but I got a little mini Diet Coke in here. 
And then down in there, I have some chocolates, like some Reese eggs and some Hershey's almonds. I just took a big handful of both and just put them in there. I've been in here for a long time. Yeah.